I am going to can a lot of sweet corn today. And then so I thought I'd show you how I can my corn. It's been a while since I made a video. I just opened this channel to um, make videos of things that uh, I make, the things that I do that some people have asked me about. I've been very busy, but today I'm going to try to um, make a video about how I can my corn. I have a little basket over here. I already cut a lot of it, so I have it there in my, the area where I'm going to be cutting it. But this is the last basket. A little bit. See the. It's just perfect for canning. It's the perfect time to do this super sweet corn. And it's real, real sweet. We planted about one fourth of an acre of sweet corn. I'm guessing, I'm thinking, I don't know, we didn't really count either, um, the seeds or measure the space, but it's about, we have a lot of it, so I've been canning lots of it. So I'm gonna take you there at the area where I'm gonna be working and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm here uh, at the uh, table where I have my other corn. I already, uh, already shredded a lot of uh, corn as I have. I'm canning 48 points. I, that's what my um, canner fits. That's how many years my uh, So I'm just going to show you what I do from the beginning. I just, well, you say I go and Harvest the corn from our corn from pot. I just spill it. Just uh, fill the husk and uh, take some of the, no, take as much of the silk off, as much of the silk as I can. I don't really clean it perfectly. I don't take it all. Yeah, so, and I just, I just use my knife to uh, get it off the cob. My husband bought me a head that screws to a screwdriver, but I didn't quite like it because it doesn't get all the the corns. It leaves a lot of the, and the cab, so I just, you can see. I like uh, to take it as close, as, uh, close, close to the cab as I can. And that's why I like to use the knife. And sometimes, um, sometimes the knife slips off the wrong way and leaves a little bit. I just come back and get it. And this is how I do it. I do not wash it. You see, it's it's in our corn patch. It's not store bought corn, so it's nice and clean. It's organic, and uh. It's just clean. I don't. Uh, some people washes it, and I don't. Just like that, and I do take just some of the silk, and and now it's ready to fill my kit in my jars. I just use the knife I'm used to. I did this growing up, and I don't find it hard or tedious job to just use the knife. It's actually relaxing, and it's a beautiful afternoon, as you can see. And uh, can I get you a little closer to where I have my jars? So you can see how I fill them. Okay, so I have my jars here. I have 48 yards, jars, 48 points. I washed them real good. I did not sterilize them. They're going to boil for quite a bit. I do my um, corn um, water bath. So it has, because, it's, because corn, corn is um, low acid food. It has to boil for a longer time than if you will pressure it. For pressure canning, it's um, a lot less time, but it can be done this way too. So I had ju just had to boil it for a longer time. It will boil for th three and a half hours. So there's really not need to go and sterilize the jars. 
uh, that long of a boiling time it will kill everything so just real clean and I'm gonna cold pack it I'm gonna show you here just gonna do this Leave a one inch head space. So I just get, I'm gonna finish filling up all my jars and I'll bring you back and the you see the jars get a little bit of the silk and pieces of combat. That's okay when I put the water in this gonna rinse off and that'll be um cleaner and neater. <laughs> okay, the last jar. Now I'm going to I'm going to fill them up with water. I figure um about each pint fits about two ears of corn. Well, it depends the size of the ear, but um it's about uh, about two ears of corn in each. Uh, I'm just gonna fill them up with water. I do not add salt or sugar. It is mm, real nice and sweet, super super sweet corn, and I don't add anything else, just the water. And I use, I am very busy, so I try to do things the quick way. <laughs> I'm gonna use my hose, it's um, cause I'm canning outside. Um, so I don't have a faucet outside, I'm just in the hose and it's a spring water. I'm just gonna fill them up. Just quickly fill them up and then after I debubble them, if they need more water, I can add a little bit more. So let me. Okay, I'm done filling them up. Now I'm just gonna debubble them. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the same knife I use for. I'm just gonna go around and debubble the. I do this now. I'm I am done the bubble in the the jars now. I'm just gonna wipe it, make sure they don't have a, any silk or corn gel. So,
I'll finish and I'll bring you back. Okay, uh, I am done um, cleaning up the um, yards, the mouse, the mouse. <laughs> now I'm gonna you put on my lids. I have my lids here. about a inch space the water and just yeah I got a little hopper done um, put in the leads and the rings in our jars now we're gonna put them on the in our canning pot and my daughter Gianna she's gonna help me load them because they, well, she's gonna help me carry them and put them in the pot because there are too many okay ready set go <laughs> Missing one too. <laughs> there are too many. I know. Okay. Okay. Almost done. Okay, closer. Okay, all 48 jars are in the pot, 48, now I'm just going to fill it up with water.
jetzt mal muss vor. And that's how the, see the way you see the water. <laughs> um, it makes a lot of bubbles. That's how it should look when it's uh, rapid boiling and I um, start counting the time. Okay, that's all the water that they can hold. And I'm gonna put the lead. This part, like I mentioned before, it's a, a sap evaporator. It's not really a canner, but I, as long as it holds water and goes on the fire, it works. So, I bought that one for making um, maple syrup in the um, early spring, and my husband made me this, this lead. Okay, so it's all, so it's going to, it's going to be boiling for three and a half hours. I start the time um, when it starts boiling, um, a rapid boil. Not a low simmer, you know, until it starts um, a rapid boil. It looks like the one, the way it looked when I was pouring the water. Ah, lots of rapid you know, I mean, bubbles. Um, so it's six seventeen right now. Hopefully, it starts boiling at around seven or six forty-five. But I'm gonna start a very hot fire and uh, that should get it going because. I'm going to be uh, here uh, until 10 30 or 11 at night. I'm just gonna light a fire and get them going. A little, little bit of flame. <laughs> that should okay. So this is how I can my corn, my sweet corn, and all uh, like sweet corn, green beans, peas, meat, everything that it's um low acid. I boil it for three, from three to three and a half hours. This will this corn will. Boil for three and a half hours and uh, because I haven't figured out how to make videos to um, make clips and then put them together so I won't be able to show you when I get them out of the pot it'll be a night today and not a night but I'm going to take you down to my cellar and show you um, corn that I've kind of read this year and I have corn from last year and then corn from uh, 2001 I'm gonna go and show you how it looks after I, I get it out. Uh, uh, after it boils for that long, while this um, starts boiling, and I probably should take my matches. <laughs> but, yeah, I have um, some sweet corn here that I canned uh, uh, a few days ago. Sorry about the noise. My husband is fixing the roof. So, so this is how it looks. This um. I canned this about three days ago. I still haven't had the time to take it down to the cellar. But these are all the 30, well, there were um, 30, 37 yards, but I uh, gave some to my father in law. So let me go and show you um, the ones I have uh, down in my cellar. Okay, here's my um, sweet corn. Those I have some green beans. Um, but I want to show you how the corn looks. I have uh, quite a bit of yours. I know. Um, okay. Let's see where I can put this. So you can see better. <laughs> oh, my lap. Okay. So this this is from uh, from 2021. 2021. Okay, and still looks very nice and yellow. And see. Hasn't changed. It tastes just like the day I canned it. Um, this is 2021. Here's 
and two 2022 excuse my um handwriting it's always very <laughs> kind of crooked and not easy to read i have arthritis so i have a hard time writing <laughs> but these are from um 2022 i have uh, one two three four i have six jars left from um 2021 and uh, oh, about i don't know about 60 from 2022 and some more that I just can't um, this year, 2023. Um, and they look so good. And the same thing with the green beans. I also um, water bath can them for three hours. These jars, see, they look so nice. These jars are from uh, from last year, 2022. And I just rotated them because I, I put the new ones in the back. Um, they are... See all this um, green, uh, plenty of green beans. Um, one day I'll give you a tour of my, of my cellar of all the things that I have canned. Uh, but today I was just, I just wanted to show you how the sweet corn looks after boiling for three and a half hours. It doesn't turn brown or anything, and it is sweet, super sweet corn, very sweet, and it keeps it keeps the sweetness and the nice and yellow color. It doesn't get cloudy or anything. It's just probably looks a little bit like this because they're kind of dusty. The jars are dusty, but they they they, they get pretty good, and uh, um, I'm really happy with them. These are my peas, sweet peas. These are from last year. Plus, um, yeah, sweet peas from last year, and these are from this year, 2023. Uh, uh, the have milk coat uh, that I can coat milk too. Also water bath and yeah. Well, one day I'll show you all that I have. Right now I'm still busy canning, but when I'm done I can show you uh, the way it looks. Those two buckets that you see there, um, that's where I keep my flour. Those are buckets to seal. They're seven gallon buckets and seal real good. And I can keep them here even though the, I don't know if you can see the moist, moisture in the, in the floor. And, and they stay, they stay, they keep that flower that is there. It's almost two years old and it's nice and dry and clean. No bugs, anything, and it keeps real good. Well, uh, I'll give you a tour some other day, but I just, right now, well, this video is about canning the sweet corn, and, uh, and uh, so, again, I cut the corn, I, um, I um, just um, take off the husk, peel it, and just um, use my knife to get it off the cob, uh, put it in the jars, hot water, leave one um, inch head space, and uh, they bubble the jars and put them in the pot, canning pot. And um, they have to, as you saw the pot, that I fill it all the way to the top. Because it's going to boil for such a long time, three and a half hours. It has to cover the jars, the water, the boiling water has to cover the jars um, all the time. At least one inch above the, the leads, one inch. Uh, my pot, because it's so big and it holds a lot of water, usually I don't have to add water more than once or twice. But uh, if you need to, um, well, if you are going to uh, use this method of canning, um, keep a pot of boiling water for when you add the water, uh, the boiling doesn't stop. The, the jars keep boiling. It doesn't, because if they're boiling and they... You add cold water, it's going to bring the temperature down, and you have to start timing again. So, so keep them boiling all the time for three and a half hours for the corn. Um, keep an extra. What I do is um, I just let it boil, and I, I, I had to check it because cause I had to keep adding wood. And when I see that it's getting low, I, that's when I put my um, pot to, of my extra pot of, of water to boil. I put it um, to boil so I have it ready for when I need to add it to my um, 
my um my jar, my pot, so it doesn't stop boiling. I'm gonna. Yeah, I had to make sure I keep the fire going always because I checked it often. And uh, you can see, got this. I use this to pick the water. That's starting, starting to start. It's about to boil. That's the good thing with fire, yeah, it uh, cooks faster. So that uh, they'll be there for quite a while, of course. Um, so I just have to make sure that I, 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 I check on the fire and the water, and so that once they start boiling, they. They keep boiling for three and a half hours, and I once I um once I uh the water is uh, evaporates and it's getting low, I'll put my extra pot to of water to boil so I have it ready to add it to the so it stays it stays uh one inch above the jars so they um so they are safe for um. As per um, shelf stable. Oh, well, that's all. And I hope you are, you understood what I was saying. Um, sometimes people say they have a hard time hearing me or understanding what I say. I tend to talk very fast, and because English is my second language, is sometimes hard to understand me. But and also, if you can't see, if you have a hard time seeing the the whole uh, picture on the screen. Uh, put in the the screen the screen in the full in the full screen the there is a little square in the corner because I'm just using my phone and it's, and I can't get the uh, get a bigger picture of it so I'm trying to do my best and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer and uh, this is the best I can do with what I have so I hope I was uh, helpful and um I really I truly this is the way I can I um everything uh, water bath and I feel totally safe with it. I love my children, my family very much. I will never put them at risk and I know this is this is a safe way to do it. And you don't have to do it if you don't trust it. If you're just watching here out of curiosity then uh that's fine too. Welcome and uh just, just, just common sense. <laughs> okay, bye.